Yo, what's good? This your boy Jay Howard. And first off, I want to pose a question to all you cats out there watching this video. I know it's a lot of people out there watching this video are, are big time fans of Rihanna and Chris Brown. A lot of you guys have watched TV over the last couple of years, or I don't know how you all your fans are out there, all the people watching this video, but a lot of people have seen Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston over the years. That's the point I'm trying to make. And I want to know, this is some real shit. Do you think Chris Brown and Rihanna is the new Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston? That's the, that's the question I'm going to pose. And I want to pose this question because deep down inside, I don't know if a lot of you guys know the history of Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. It's damn near similar, you know what I mean, watching their careers. You know what I mean? Looking at Rihanna's career and looking at... Rihanna was never as good as Whitney Houston, but on a pop level, you know, as far as record sales and popularity, I would say she's as big as Whitney Houston was for her time i would say the same thing i would say chris brown was even bigger than bobby brown bobby brown was a big success story back in the early 90s and when i think about the talent level of bobby brown and the talent level of chris brown it's damn similar a lot of a lot of people probably don't really know bobby brown other than celebrity rehab and the little shit you see in the tabloids but if you do know bobby brown and know where i'm coming from Bobby Brown did the same shit, if not better, than Chris Brown did. Bobby Brown was a dude that can dance. He was an okay singer. He was a great entertainer. Same thing Chris Brown is now. Only difference is he's light-skinned. But Bobby Brown did the same shit. Gave a wonderful, outstanding performance every time he graced the stage. Whitney Houston, way better singer than Rihanna will ever be, right? But as far as popularity, same thing. She was never... Flamboyant like Rihanna, but as far as the popularity is there. When you see all the distractions that's causing Chris Brown and Rihanna to think that life is fun and games, they take all these distractions and they run with it. They like, fuck it. I'm young. I can bounce back. I think both of them got a rude awakening coming. You know what I mean? Both of them. Seeing Chris Brown going through his little turmoil with having. Um, putting his hands on Rihanna and Rihanna going through a little stint with fucking with the weed and Chris Brown a weed head too, both on weed heads. With money, that shit can turn into something more, more expensive and something more, more deadly. So I want to know, do you guys think that Chris Brown and Rihanna is the new Bobby and Whitney? You know, it's sad when you look at the potential of Chris Brown and the potential of Rihanna. But both of them are caught up in a lot of bullshit. Both of them caught up in smoking weed all day, really being rebels, not really thinking about that this is a blessing for both of them to be on top of their game like this. And it's the same shit that happened with Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. They dibbled and dabbled here and there, and that shit just spiraled out of control. And I hate to tell you, anybody that fuck with drugs, it always start from, it start from weed first. The majority of the time, it starts just like it started now with Chris Brown with three and four blunts hanging out of his mouth and Rihanna having blunts as long as dreads and shit. It starts like that all the time for celebrities. And you can look at Rihanna. If you go back from when she came out to now, you can look at her skin and tell that the weed is taking a toll on her. You can look at her lips and tell the weed is taking a toll on her. You can look at Chris Brown, the blemishes in his skin. You can tell that the weed is taking toll on him. I'm the last person to want to root bad for neither one of those cats. But I swear to God, in my heart of hearts, been around for a long time. I damn near can predict this one. I think that Bobby, I mean, Chris Brown and Rihanna are going to wind up just like Whitney Houston and Bobby, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. <laughs> I'm not talking about Whitney, you know, Whitney is dead. So I'm not talking about they're going to die, but I think their careers are going to take that sharp turn where they won't be able to recover. So I'm going to know what you guys think. Now, I also want to know, what do you think the measures should be taken for Chris Brown? Do you think Chris Brown and Rihanna even need to be talking to each other? Do you think they're good for each other? Do you think they have anything in common? You know what I mean? Because obviously, 
with all the, the, the stuff that Chris Brown went through for putting his hands on her, it really didn't mean anything because she's right back with him. You know, it's just like you have relatives and she, you have an auntie or your mama getting whooped by a nigga and she right back with him the next week. So I want to know what you guys think, you know what I mean, with this. It's, this is something that, to make a video this soon about a topic like this, it means a lot. You know why? Because I can damn near give this one another year and you go back and watch this video. Now, damn nigga, I'm damn near going to look like a prophet because it's going to go to that next level in probably about another year. You're going to start hearing the cocaine rumors. Hope, I, hope, I hope not, but you're going to start hearing the, the, the shit, you know, the next level shit. You know what I mean? So I want to know what you guys think. Is Chris Brown and Rihanna the next Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston? We see Bobby Brown at damn near 50 years old, what he's going through. And Whitney is dead. So we're going to pray that that never happens. But I want you guys' opinion on this one. Peace. I'm your boy Jay Howell on the mouth.